we're gonna be working on a 240. Um, nothing too crazy. Today, I'm gonna just be putting in my oil pressure sensor. Um, I should have done this a while ago before I put my T-fitting in. Put on, a, um, uh, it's a T-fitting. Basically, so you can feed your turbo and you can also put your sensors on it also. So, you know, you can have proper reading and everything as factory would be. So, you know, we just gonna move forward. I'm trying to stop being stagnant with the 240. My goal is to really have this thing running by. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. Here's my engine. There, right there, as you see where my oil filter is, right down there. That is what I have to take off. All right, so we had a change of plans with the 240. Um, instead of going from the bottom side, what I ended up doing was taking off the oil filter. And now what I'm gonna do is it gives me access to that T-fitting. Oil filter would be right there. Now I have more access to the um, that fitting. That made it so much easier. Yeah, it's not fighting me. A little freaky right now, but. Oh. Freaky, come on. Get out of there. Bro, this line cannot, this thread cannot be that long. And you always want to use line wrenches whenever you're taking lines off that have, you know, special fittings. Just so you don't round out that hex on it. So I was able to get the filter housing out. Yeah, I had to take the filter housing out. We have the oil filter housing. This is exactly what I needed. Oh wait, left my tools. This is the housing I was talking about. I'm trying to take this bolt out, but like I said earlier, I think I uh, rounded it out. So now I gotta try to tap in and get it out that way. I had to take a couple days off. I'll be tired. So if you look right here, that BSP adapter, the gold one, this right here, that adapter. So I'm gonna just put that all in, get it all wired up, put my feed back on. I got the adapters in for my oil pressure gauge. I got everything routed. That needs to be tightened back down. I got everything. Don't mind the inside of the car. Here's what we have. Oof. Yeah, it looks like a mess, but to me, it's not that bad. Um, all this right here is just my wires for my gauges. Um, this right here is for my oil pressure gauge that I just routed into here. So I'm about to splice these together Splice these together onto this connector. So all these wires just really need to be loomed up. So they're not Like rat nested, but aside from that with a glow shift gauge um, That just happened a minute ago. Don't mind that. I really don't care this video. I mean a little short Video just to show you guys, you know what I've done so far just to update the YouTube channel. I'm trying to get the 240 going, so I'm about to get that off the jack and um, let it sit down in its natural position. And subscribe, like, share, and you know, just keep supporting your boy. I'm trying to just keep on learning. And you know, if anybody has any tips, or any advice for the 240s that they're willing to share, I'm always willing to learn. You know, we're gonna keep on moving, keep on striving.